Welcome back friends. Now we talk about the planet Saturn. Whatever understanding you have Saturn, just leave it aside for some time and listen to what I have to say. Saturn is the only planet that is not a king but a kingmaker. The one and only planet in the entire solar system which is capable of creating emperors or is a kingmaker. Anybody who has a very strong Saturn in the chart is equivalent to somebody who can give a lot of jobs to people, who can do a lot of good for society. People with stronger Saturn have a lot of people working for them. In today's terms, they are not kings, but they are in a position to elevate somebody's life to a certain level that he or she can become a king or a queen. There are a lot of misconceptions about Saturn and it is that it is a planet of poverty. On the flip side, it is the planet of richness. Like I said, the only planet which is capable to create kings. Surya or Sun is a king, but Saturn is a king maker. Now, understand that a planet capable of making you a king or putting you in a position that you can create kings, how can it create poverty? Second good part, it is the planet of discipline. If you have a weak Saturn, you will be undisciplined. You would not have any time to for getting up in the morning. You will be a late sleeper. You will not do anything according to the clock. This goes both ways. If you are a person with weak Saturn, these are the traits. But if you are a person with stronger Saturn and you are not disciplined, you are making your Saturn weak. The Shastras describe it at, as a person who is disciplined will have a strong Saturn. This is the most excellent remedy that anybody can follow for Saturn. Weak or strong, I need to be a disciplined person. I need to sleep early. I need to get up early. Whatever my work, I cannot procrastinate. I cannot leave it for tomorrow. Today's work has to be finished today. By the end of the day, whatever is needed is finished today. I do not take my work home. I do not postpone things for tomorrow. If you develop a nature like this, Everybody's Saturn would be excellent and strong. Another good point about Saturn is these people are very down to earth. Even being a kingmaker, you would find people with stronger Saturn to be very friendly, to be very down to earth. Some of the people at very high positions are high headed. Saturn is not a high headed planet. Even being at the very strong position, they meet everybody and make everybody so comfortable that they start to realize that he or she is a very big person, yet very down to earth. Develop a nature like this, that you are friendly to even people who are junior to you. You treat everybody equally and you will develop a strong Saturn. There is another misconception about Saturn that Saturn is a miser. No. Saturn spends wisely. If you spoil money and if you buy things that are not needed, you make your Saturn weak. But we find that most of the very rich people hardly spend on anything. They are not fond of good clothes. They don't buy fancy cars. They don't spend money on lavish parties. They don't spulge money, they don't have private jets, but are very, very rich. People who know the value of money, have enough money and spend only for what is needed, may give a lot in charity, but may not spend on them or their families. That is how Saturn gets stronger. Go back and see people in the society 
some of them are very rich but live a very very ordinary life this is the power of saturn most of us think saturn is the planet of poverty is the planet of sickness it's not like this saturn is the planet of health if you are disciplined you will be healthy if you are healthy then a good another aspect about saturn comes that is longevity saturn gives you a very long life to live you do not die early if you are born with a strong saturn or you have created a strong saturn this is something you will find that creating a strong saturn yes when i understand how the energies of saturn work when i am disciplined when i am equal towards everybody else when i am down to earth when i am not spent thrift when i think deeply when i just don't talk i think and talk these are the good traits of saturn and if you follow these you have a strong saturn what happens when a saturn is strong people come to you for counsel you are capable of giving good advice to people because you are disciplined and unbiased most of the judges most of the people at powerful positions most of the places where decision making is involved you will find that people with stronger saturn somehow fit that position excellently because saturn is a planet of deep thinking these are the people who analyze things very deeply if you are thinking something quite deep and then not acting at the spur of the moment taking time to understand the situation taking time to analyze everything and then take your call that is the power of sat again this planet is under too much of misconception another thing that comes to my mind that people with stronger saturn are honest people some of us can keep accounts of others and are very justified and honest about money they are so honest about money that whatever is theirs is theirs but whatever is yours they will never touch it these are the people who you can depend on in the times of need they come forth to help and seldom ask anything in return and they are extremely honest people for their families for their friends for their business for their work for their community for the country people with stronger saturn do not take from others they have enough by the grace of god are not greedy for others money these are the people who can manipulate a lot but do not these are the people who can who can do bad to you because they are so powerful but never do it they are justified people honest people and not hankering after somebody else's money this is the true power of saturn whatever is mine is mine whatever is yours is yours i am worried about only mine and never about yours excellent people to do business with because they are always very clear and honest most of the people with strong saturn are either industrialist or traders as saturn represents big industries lot of masses and workforce where people working for you and trading friends understand if you have a good saturn in the chart follow the path of not creativity but sustainability trading do not create remain in the middle let somebody else create let somebody else consume you come in the middle picture where you take from somebody sell to somebody and the middle path will always do you well do not change business often do not change workforce often if you have a strong saturn as saturn is the planet of discipline 
masses these people are generally officers who control a lot of workforce get into hands on reality where they like to work themselves they are not chair person even if they are owners of big factories or big industrial groups still they like to be hands on on everything as i said a stronger saturn likes to do lot of charity if we take out if you have a weak saturn and you take out some part of your income on a monthly basis on a quarterly basis and do some charity always this planet gets strength help the poor the needy the hungry from some part of your income and you'll find that this saturn is slowly changing from a weak saturn to a strong saturn another misconception about saturn is that these people are dirty they are full of sickness they have long term disease this doesn't happen with saturn saturn does not give disease but if a saturn is weak recuperation power decreases and as in my last session i told if you are able to create your mars or the energy of mars this recuperation power increases hence in most of the shastras when the remedial remedies for saturn are to be done they are mostly through mars and one of the major reason is that if energies of mars increase then the negativity of saturn decreases another point of saturn they are not connected to earth they have lot of earth earthy things but are not dependent on earthy things you will find they have big houses big lands big property expensive things but you will find them not indulgent in them it doesn't make a difference if he or she is not living in a big house it doesn't make a difference to them whether they are traveling by business class or like normal people people with stronger saturn it doesn't make difference to them as in their later part of life renunciation is something that they are keen upon they have lot they give away everything nearly everything for charity i know a lot of industrialists who do like this and one of the great industrialists of india mr ratan tata who just passed away some time back was a very very good example of a very strong saturn and very powerful charity very down to earth person and you will find that a very strong saturn persists in the chart of that excellent human being they have a very saintly nature they cannot they cannot harm others you will find that even they, they are the people with stronger saturn who have a big workforce but would seldom like to reduce that for money even if the factory is not doing the, uh, good even if the business is not good they are the ones who would like to keep the flock together to run through the bad times with all their people together would not like to you know shun people away or or probably you know cut down on their workforce this is not the trait of stronger saturn they have a good balance of money and charity uh, because they are most of the time detached that is the reason they they are very disciplined they are very detached people often find that these saturnian people or people with stronger saturn are detached no they are not detached but they are helpful but because they have been coming on this earth regularly the soul with a stronger saturn has been on this earth many a times that soul understands the concept of earth come here do your duty to the best do not get attached to the things and move on to the soul's next journey that is needed the excellent thing told by lord krishna or the gita upadesh or whatever is said in the gita is something to do with saturn do your duty do not get attached 
and move on further. This is what Saturn is made of. Uh, they are, because of their saintly nature, at times these people are very good in terms of meditation. In terms of spirituality, they don't have to try very hard. People with stronger Saturn have a chance of awakening their Kundalani as good as with people in Surya in the seventh sign or as most of you say, sun debilitated. Saturn, strong in the chart, you have a chance of raising your energy levels to the higher level. As I said that these people have been coming on this earth and taking birth on this earth again and again. They are not from the animal kingdom, they are from the human kingdom and understand how life progresses in a much better manner than anybody else. That is why these people are good for councils. They make excellent head of the families, excellent head of the organizations, excellent head of the countries. It is a good thing that the leader of this country also has a very strong Saturn. And this is the reason that he is not too much involved into money and lot of involvement goes into the masses and development of the society or the country. This is the basic trait that Saturn portrays. As I grow, my people will grow. From my experience, my organization, my country, my people should grow. This is the mantra of Saturn. I will take everybody along and everybody should grow. The negative side of Saturn, everybody knows. You've heard from everyone else. But this is true Saturn. That is why I repeat again, the misconception about this planet Saturn needs to be clarified. It is a kingmaker and if anybody has a stronger Saturn, then he or she will do excellently in life, especially on earthy level and on spiritual level. And don't worry, even if you have a weak Saturn, live a disciplined life and see how your horoscope changes. Until next time, Pranam, take care.